We gon' have fun. We be on fire. We be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Big, big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring? Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely official. Miss Jamaica, what's going on? Nothing, my dad. Walk on. Man, Boss Talk 101 in the building. You know what I'm saying? We back, man. You know what I'm saying? Like we never left, man. It's it's crazy how how things be coming together. You know, God is good. I have to start off saying that, man. Not Every sure. time we get into a show, we got to let you know that God mm -hmm. is good. No, he's great. You know what I'm saying, man? Check it, man. We got a guy here today really don't need no introduction, man. I done seen him in a few videos. He, you know, he say he can rap, you know, so we gonna figure it out today. I don't see, you know what I'm saying? I put niggas on the spot on Boss Talk 101, man. Jose Bodega is in the uh, building, man. What's up with it? What's, up what's with going it? on, man? Oh, man, I can't call it. Say, man, man you this. finally made it, man. You made this the big league right here. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah, we little league, but we big league at the same time. Hey, it's a you mindset. Know? It's a mindset. <laughs> no, man, I, I just, I love the hustle, man. Oh, for sure. You know what I'm saying? For sure, so, for sure. Appreciate sure. you for coming on the show, man. Uh, it's number I, love. I've been researching and checking, you know what I'm saying, trying to see the projects and everything. And uh, But the first thing I want to get into, you know, I like to go back into the backstory, right? Yes, That's sir. how we do it, man. Mm -hmm. So growing oh, yeah. up, Bodega, Jose Bodega, how did, uh, being in, he was out of Highland Hills. Right, 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 So, right. So how did you, how? How did you grow up? Would you did you grow up? Did you have a silver spoon in your mouth? Was you the only child, nigga? You I the mean, only child. Why come? You the only child. Did you have your mom and dad there? All of that? I mean, we, 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 I, I got three child? little sisters now. I got three little sisters. I'm the oldest child. Oh, okay, yeah, and you're the only boy. I, yeah, only boy. Wow, protected. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna yeah. let you make it then. If you I got have five sisters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna oh, let you make it, you nigga. You yeah. first. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, well, you had to be strong. There you go. Oh, you you don't pull a couple trouble out of you. Yeah, No, no. If he has five sisters. I mean, he's a ladies' man. Oh no, he real emotional. No, yeah, don't no, play me, nigga. No, no, you know what I'm talking about? He knows how to treat the ladies. <laughs> you know, hey, you yeah, know. yeah, yeah, yeah. Emotional, no, like you know, nah, emotional. I, I ain't gonna say emotional. I say you know, every woman is different. So you but know, I had you, a nigga that was gonna be. I was gonna be a. I was gonna really be like a low D. I was gonna be me. A, you remember I was gonna get me a rapper, nigga. And uh, <laughs> and, I, and I and I and I I got one, but it was like, damn, he. He emotional, man. Like every time we do something, it be like this, that. I'm like, nah, I can't do it. See, look, when you the oldest, you don't really get too many emotions. You just get all the problems. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You gotta be strong. Ready to he fix it. Yeah. yeah, you gotta hear all them female problems. They come to you for everything. Still to this day. Really? Yeah, Are y'all close? To this day. Oh yeah, I love all my babies. Yeah, that's dope. Really? For real. So, for imagine real. how they probably fend off all the ladies who come at you. Ah oh, man, they man. a lot of times they was younger, so they was trying to see what they can get out of them too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's dope. Yeah, my auntie one time, together. and I'm glad you said that. My auntie <laughs> did that one time. Uh, she, I had started talking to this girl, but I wasn't gonna be with her. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I come home one day, and the lady at my house, she done bought groceries and everything, nigga. My ain't say, yeah, my nephew, he, he yeah, y'all gonna be together, you know? She, yeah, yeah, <laughs> she I done worked up yeah, whole, yeah, whole yeah, about hundred and fifty dollars about it. Man, shout out to your niece, man. She she a real one, man. Uh, she, yeah, you know, she the reason I sit here today. You know what I'm saying? She the, real, in, yeah, she, the, in, she the reason I'm here, bro. If it wasn't for how I wouldn't be sitting here looking at y'all, man. There's some stuff went down that were heavy in my life. Oh, that's and it was, it was because of her, man. And I shout it to the day that I die. It, it, you know what I'm saying? If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't even be here. I'd be somewhere way away. And y'all be like, damn, man, that nigga that's still gone. See, them, you know be the people, them be the people that we look back on and we always cherish that. You man, know I don't play by their niece. That'll get you in yeah, trouble. Yeah, for real. I, I ain't playing, like dog. I granny. go down through there. I feel like that So did you have both your mom and dad in your life? Well, nah, my dad lived in Houston, you know, and uh, I had my mom and my grandmother. You know, um, my dad was in the Army. Okay. And, you know, I, I'ma just say this. I didn't say this at first when I was younger. I used to be like, he left her. But as mm. you grow up, you understand like why men leave women. So, hey, yeah. you know, it just didn't work out. That's <laughs> yeah, all I'm yeah. Well, you, how old was you then? He ain't. He, he left. He left her when I was two weeks. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So, but yeah. he left to go to the army. Nah, he left to go on, on, on. Oh, okay. wherever he okay. laid his hat okay. was yeah. his home. Yeah. 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 Hey, and when, is he still living? Oh yeah, man. He uh he actually married. He, he got married back. after he left her. That's why I say my mama was a handful. So mm -hmm. you'll just yeah. have to know her to understand. You know what? Do you have a relationship with him? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's yeah. good. Yeah, I just went. I actually just came from seeing him. 
Okay, you know, that's good. My granny always said that uh, no matter like what goes on with your parents, they still your parents. Yeah. So you gotta love them anyway. That's why yeah. I just love grannies. When mamas be tripping or daddies be tripping, grannies will hold it all together. Oh yeah, she the equalizer. Yeah, yeah. man. You exactly. know my grandma. Yeah, shout out to Anna V. Wallace, man. She used to feed a nigga off the citizen bus with that check come in that brown envelope, baby. Oh yeah. Wasn't nothing like it, man. Yeah, I mean, man. she's the only one coming up with a little money. My mom and them, they wasn't doing right, man. You know, but my granny, man, she was gonna come up with some, you know, some groceries, some apples. Yeah, nigga, some bananas. That seemed like a gold, man. It, that you know, candy was cool, but right. man, that apple and banana get you through. You know what I'm yeah, saying? See, my, my my granny, she was more so like of a stew maker. Like she yeah. made beef uh, stews and uh man, my vegetable stew. That my, on my mama's side. Last she hour. All week, yeah, y'all had to eat all yeah. week. But stew, but it be good, re- don't it? Every recipe? day, when that thing set, oh, no. oh, man. did you get a recipe so you can cook it yourself? Nah, <laughs> I sure wish that nigga had. I'm hungry. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have showed enough go over there. Can't eat. nobody do it like grandma. Nah, Shout out yeah, my no, granny, I love. Aunt, nobody that oh, can yeah. do it. They they can't do it like her. But they try. They can do their own little. Everybody got their own signature dish. But yeah. grandma, she just handles it. She, she good. You good to hot water cornbread? Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's, that's the only cornbread you know, that's she makes. She didn't believe in I know when you can cook, nigga. She didn't that's believe in hot water cornbread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah. You got to have a meal. You can't cook unless you can cook some hot water cornbread. Shout yeah. out to the people who cooking that hot water cornbread <laughs> out of the south, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only down south, man. They, yeah. We try to put them on yeah. to it up close. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, when, yeah. When did you discover that you like to rap? That you love the music? Are we going into the rap? I just want to know what age. I want to know what age he started. Well, we always, you know, we went into them stages where we was coming up on, like, the battle rap. So we liked to listen to, like, the battle rappers, like like Cassidy. like I remember Cassidy and Freeway went at it probably, like, three, four times. You Mm -hmm, know what I'm saying? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I liked it to Meek Mills with the braids to the back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, before we met Lil Snoop. Yeah, zero, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Nigga didn't have nothing. Uh, yeah, I yeah. met the nigga at the casino. The nigga yeah, still act yeah. like he had them braids a little nah, bit. For sure, yeah. yeah. Nah, <laughs> shout out my boy Meek. He a real cat, man. Yeah. I've been around him a couple yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, it's dope, right? Yeah, for sure. He I cool didn't guy. really mess with him. I ain't gonna lie to you. He was at the casino. We were gambling a little bit, but it really was his uh, manager. Me and I, I got to think about the managers. I know yeah. if I get cool with the manager, yeah. I, you know, I'll understand what's going on with the whole movement. You know what I'm saying? For sure. For so sure. that was before Boss Talk, but nah, I always sure. was rocking out. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I always been a part of the business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. fine. I was going on. No, was, yeah, yeah. yeah. We went through Philly. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, work here even hard and uh, all them niggas be at yeah, them. No, right. but so, yeah, yeah. Hey, man, you got to have, you got to know what's going on. Yeah. You got to see it for yourself. So yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go to the hood when you go out of town? Oh, yeah, man. I got to see it I for go myself. straight to the hood. That's where the good food is. Nah, for sure. You know One thing, I'm going to know where the food is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta, you, yeah, for sure. Y'all probably going to go to that fight. Y'all go to that fight yeah. up there? Oh, yeah. Uh, talk about that. He's a food finder. Oh yeah, I'm gonna tell you. Go to M and M's on the strip. That's a black owned business, man. M and M like the candy. Right. M and M soul food. I'm gonna have to check them out. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'll be up there. I love the but we'll be up there before y'all. Uh oh. Huh. Oh yeah, man. I'm in a in a little bit. I'm gonna be doing this little. Uh, you, you, I guess it's gonna be like a little podcast where I. Uh, what? Yeah, while I'm doing like nigga, I'm talking coming about on the there, food. Nigga. Yeah, talking yeah, about nigga, the food I'm, in the deep. You gonna have the food on there? Oh yeah, man. It's got it's That's gonna be kind of taking now. you down through there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you know so if saying? you're talking about food in the deep, where would you recommend would be the best food that you've ever had in Dallas? I mean, I, I gotta go with home, you know. Best food I ever had came okay, out of my granny's kitchen. Right, that's okay, right. other than but your granny's kitchen. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, it just depends on the day, you know. It What's your favorite on, kind of food? Uh, me, I, I like 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 pastas and stuff like that. And it's a it's a place, it's a couple of places that I actually go to. It's a place called the Freeman, right across from Twisted Ruberg. Okay. okay, I know where that is. They, they got a pretty good uh, Cajun Creole pasta that mm-hmm. I like. Um, so for me who loves seafood, where would you recommend? Uh, it's a place called Crazy Crab I've in Grand Perry off seen of um, three sixty. They got good. good like crab legs and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't eat crab legs. Yeah, you, yeah. Know, you gotta know where to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. then um a lot of people right now is talking about crab legs and crawfish and stuff like that because it's the season. Right. But I'm talking about more like your catfish or maybe your red oh, okay. snapper okay, yeah. or well, the catfish yeah. stuff it's like that. From the island, red snapper. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a place called um S and J's. 
on Lancaster Road. It's pretty good. Yeah, they they got they gonna put that seasoning on you for sure. Yeah, yeah, you, you yeah. gonna taste that down home. For sure. S S &J. So for you sure. gotta remember that S and J for that cat. We going over there. Yeah, it's coming like it came hot out the grease. Okay, yeah. now, now now don't be playing because we got dough bellies over here in uh in Forty. Well, I, we can do a cook-off, nigga. I bring a plate, you bring a plate. We, you know what hey, I'm saying? Hey, I'm the baddest, man. That, I, I, I'm talking about you go over to your spot where you get I'm it. I'm going to go to my spot, and, and I'm going to bring the place together. Yo. And we meet right here, nigga, and we're going to we see do do that which taste, one. No, we do that tasting test where you won't know where it's from. You just right, have them in right. plates. Yeah. But we will know, and you taste it first, and you name which one is the best. What you I'm telling you, I'm bad. I'm bad. You going to know. I'm bad. I'm hey, bad. Nigga, be eating. I can tell, nigga. I'm I don't try to play, now. nigga. That goes, <laughs> you love to taste the food. People call. They come in Dallas and call me like, hey, man, where we need to go eat at? Really? Yeah. You know. So, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You so how do you find these places, though? That's I'll be good. all over the internet. See, me, I, I go deep. Like, I, I, I read the, the comments. You know, I want to hear the reviews. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Then I try it out myself. Yeah, I look at and stuff like that, especially pictures. You know how sometimes they post those yeah, really good pictures, pictures and it looks, yeah. yeah, it yeah. looks really they good. Food, they food but they know, but after the pictures, I look down the comments and um, not just people saying I'm going to go, but when they went, how was it, and what they ate and stuff like that. The baddest soul food place in Dallas right now is called Taste the Ways. Look it up on Instagram. Taste, Taste the Ways. Where is that? Is is right there on Keys. They actually relocating. They the baddest. The baddest. Soul food in the D. Okay, I'm gonna I put that in my phone. A my taste phone. of ways catering. Yes, yeah, ma'am. Hey. Yeah. yeah, it's bad. Mm -hmm. It's bad. Okay. Um, how far is the furthest you've ever dri driven in, I want to say in Dallas, but in Texas to get good food? Oh, I actually drove to Houston to eat. Nigga, I'm taking you to the country. Just We're gonna to take eat. you. I'm gonna show you something. Just you to playing eat. with me, yeah. man. Don't play yeah, with I'm me, saying. man. And how true is this saying that the best food is found in the little hole in the wall places? That's that, Taste the Waves is one of those little that the should have a big restaurant, but it's it's a little in a little place. And I'm telling you, we are gonna be your first guest when you, you know do that what podcast. I, yeah, for sure. For <laughs> we sure. gonna come through, nigga. For sure, it's gonna be bad. I'm yeah. telling you. Nah, but I, you know what I found out about the hole in the walls, though? When they expand to make bigger. For some reason, it don't food, taste the it same. Don't taste that the grill same. got to be. It, it changes. I don't, I don't that comes from the, the 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 people that you hire not having the same love for what you do as what you do. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying you can't. You know you can't duplicate it because they, right. they can't be. They, you. they can't love it like yeah. how you love it because yeah. it ain't they. It ain't they true love. It ain't they dream. Because yeah. I've seen that happen already, and I'm like, no, I can't go over there anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, yeah I, I done, I done, It's a couple places that done that done got like that. But like mm -hmm. I say, the people that really love what they do, mm -hmm. they going to make sure that, that everything is up to par with their food because this is what they love to do. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Let's, let's, go back to, uh, let's go back to you growing up. Right, and, uh, right, right. When you grew, grew up, you was like, uh, yeah, you, you, you was a stump down. You from, you, you from Highland Hills, but you might have not always been in Highland Hills. Was you always in Highland Hills? Well, Starting I, lived, I lived actually... In a couple different neighborhoods. Yeah, yeah, cause like, mama and them be tripping. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I get yeah, it. You know I did it too. I stayed in East Dallas Projects. Okay, um, shout out to East Dallas Projects, yeah, my shout boy out Danny. East Dallas Projects. Yeah. Um, I stayed in Oak Cliff on like our wood town. Like, okay. Uh, shout Charleston out to Village. Charleston Village. Shout out to Sir Charleston Rose, Village. You know. Going down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, what 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 do you think is the um, just uh, the 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 most influential place that you stayed? <coughs> um, the most influential place growing up. I'm talking about that little yeah. phase growing up. Uh, it would have to be. Um, it would have to be. I would say a little of Highland Hills and yeah. a little of Woodtown because in Woodtown, mm -hmm. like we was more so out the house, like running around. Highland Hills was like the the the, the home ground, like where we always came back to. Was Grandma like, at the Highland, Highland Hills? Yeah, oh, yeah. That's dope and my right papa, there. Yeah, 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 man. Before he passed, yeah, be my papa. I be the papa, yeah. man. But yeah, we we we, like I said, I learned a lot staying everywhere I stayed at because yeah. I was always cool. Like, you know, I, I used to crack jokes, scoring, yeah, yeah, and high I, side. That's and me. And you shit. see, yeah, I be cutting yeah, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just having a good time. No, for sure, we gotta have a good time. So. I grew a lot of love and got a lot of love in all those neighborhoods. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I even stayed in the suburbs like Lancaster. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Around about like 2000, what was that, 2005? And okay, how, 2004. How old were you around that time? Oh, he's uh, a young buck. He got like, it. He like went by. I think I was like 
what was, we was going into like the fourth, fifth grade. No, I was like the sixth, sixth and seventh grade summer. Okay. And I was like twelve, going on thirteen. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. And uh, you know, it was that year that everybody got Section Eight. Yeah, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah government my granny, and everything, man. We were saying before then we were saying in Wheeling Terrace Projects, the Terror Dome. That's what they yeah, called yeah. it. More of the older heads. That's what they called the Wheeling uh, Terrace Apartments. Yeah, I know what it is. We had moved to Lancaster. We had got a house, and so I never forget it because we were like, "Hey, yeah, so we finna, <laughs> it's up. We finna get off the flow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we we slept on the flow. So come to find out. Shoot, it was only a two bedroom house. We oh, still okay, had to catch the flow, flow man. but it was all good. I was, just it talking, was all love. I was talking to a guy earlier today. He got a song called "Hard Living Row," and uh, he said three three families in the in in the house. You know, I'm like that's the way we were too. Nah, and, for real. It was like we we didn't have a lot growing up, you know, and and that's a lot of our stories. They reflect each other. You know what mm-hmm, I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's dope, man. That's so how you know it'd be real. Yeah. So so are we gonna get into the music a little more now? Yes. We, yes. Okay. Sir. Yeah. Cause I'm gonna let. I'm gonna let her roll yeah, with let it. Her roll you know what I'm saying? Cause yeah, she like no, to talk about what, that food. You but, know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, who inspired you to do that music? Uh, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I I do. I done did comedy. You know what I'm saying? You did comedy? Yeah, yeah, Are you good? Oh yeah, I'm pretty good. Like uh, I said, don't I try say to that, man. Don't try. No, to I'm say. pretty good. You, Look, you one you, thing about me, I'm a hustler. So you know, I, like I said, I've you been actually in, wrote it out. Yeah. Yeah. Comedy. Yeah. And where'd yeah. you, where'd yeah, you, you perform? Those? I performed at this place called Tavern, the Tavern Hall. Mm-hmm. Down to, uh, mm-hmm. I think that's Uptown. Right. Did, did, did they it. boo you off the stage? Oh, no, no. Don't I lie. A, I was a headliner. That no. was a day. Oh. Jose. I, first, I promised to God on my daughter's on my daughter's life. Shout out my little girl. I'm like, I love you. Yeah, but shout it out. My first uh, gig, I was the headliner of the show. First really? time ever performing on stage. That's favor. Okay. God will give you favor, bro. This, yeah. Is, yeah. this is me now. Tell me a joke. Oh hell, <laughs> oh, man. man! He don't got nothing if for you. Remember, you. No, because if, if it take you, you gotta you learn. You know, you gotta be standing up, and yeah, you see gotta that, see. You that gotta was t- like that was probably like two and a half years ago. So the last actual script I wrote out, it been a long time. And How I long did you do that for? I done that for probably about a a good year. You wanted to give it a try. Yeah, I, I was, was just, more like. So you. why didn't you keep it up? You just like, cause for one, like coming from where we come from, mm-hmm. like it's hard to be labeled a funny guy. Like, yeah. It's hard to be labeled a funny guy, and you gotta I be stiff, nigga. Yeah, and I, I didn't really want my legacy to be known for me being funny. funny. Like I want that to be some more so that people around me that be around me every day, they just vibe. Like we gonna hot side, we gonna shoot mm-hmm. the shit, you know. And so, what, what really, pers- like, persuaded me to do music was actually my people. Like they used to always tell me, like, bro. You been rapping all these years and shout out Yellow Beezy, that's my yeah, brother. How about to get into that? We always be together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So before I actually <laughs> rap, I was always his right hand man, like right on the always side with of him. every show. Like like blood, we family. So, you know, I always wanted to be there for him and my people used to be like, Bro, you can rap. You you meeting all these people. Yeah. And you, you building just, relationships. Yeah, and you just sitting around not doing nothing, like try to do some music. And I seen the money that that was coming to bro from mm-hmm. music. I was just like, Shh, I gotta I'm do gonna have a little girl. My little girl just was coming into the world. She one years old, you know. And I was just like, man, I'm trying to take her and my family. This street. She's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. I saw her picture. Yeah, appreciate online. it. Appreciate so, it. so I, I seen the build up with Yellow. Um, but you and Yellow, y'all went to school together, right? Oh yeah. So yeah. Well, how how old was you when you met Yellow? Uh, we were about. 16, 17. 16, 17. Like sophomore going into junior year. Yeah. Yeah. He like, I see him on there with Earl Spence and Thomas. Yeah, I see yeah. him with Thomas a yeah, lot. Yeah. Me yeah, and Thomas. Shout yeah, out to yeah. Thomas. Uh, I met Thomas and his son at Big T. But um, when I see him, he always try to go in. You talking about you crack jokes, but but he always they always got something going. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they got outside, somebody yeah. got beat in basketball. Uh, somebody then got. Uh, I mean, Thomas be lighting him up. I don't know if Thomas lying or what, really, because <laughs> Thomas act like he winning a lot of damn basketball games. Nah, shout out my bro Thomas. Nah, Thomas, <laughs> Thomas got some. <laughs> so he got some. Yeah, so he be like, so. T- look at the camera. I'll be mm-hmm. like, oh, he melting again. You know yeah, what I'm nah, saying? No, so he gonna hot side his ass. <laughs> I'm talking about silver dollar. <laughs> so I, I, what I what I was thinking about, I say, man, you know, them guys look like they're having a lot of fun. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? That, that's a lot of what it be with us. Like, yeah. Oh, you know, we we from the streets, but we ain't 
walking around with a frown yeah, on yeah, your yeah, face. Yeah. That don't do nothing but make you old. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. But when I met Yellow, I told him this the other night when we was, when I when I we was out with him. I said, man, I first met you. It was at Big T in front of Charles Stowe. He would buy himself out by myself. Right. But he was respectful as hell. I guess I'm old. So nigga looking at me like this old nigga. I said, I like your work. No, I like yeah, what you're sure, doing. You sure. know? And he was like, yeah, thank you, man. Real respectful. Then my cousin confirmed it because he didn't know it. But my cousin, the one I was just telling him, the, the rook name used to be over his house. Yeah, yeah. He had Zeke TV. Just so happened, Yellow went by Bruton and he was in there. And we was on this show. We just talked about that a while back. And he was like, uh, he was like, man, Yellow did my, he did my shout out for me. He didn't trip. Now he named a couple more niggas that kind of, you know, tripped and didn't right, do it right, right, but right, he, right. And I said, you know what? I had the same experience with the little niggas. You know, I'm talking that big boy talk. You no, know, sure, I had sure. the same experience with the little nigga. Little nigga must be respectful. You know, them the two times I'd have heard, you know, stories about him, but it seems right. to be that way with him. And I know you know. So when y'all started out, I know you roughed him up a little bit on, on you know, exercise your rights on the cap and on yeah, the nigga. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> but, but see, he but did he, he used to get who won? Who yeah. won the capping contest? He stood his ground. I yeah. don't stun. Like he actually gave me a run, and it was funny because at that time at, at my school wasn't nobody fucking with oh, me. Oh, so you cap hard? Yeah, I cap a cap king. Like nah. I don't put you down. <laughs> I don't put you down. But it was all fun and jokes. You know, it wasn't ever nothing to hurt nobody feelings. Yeah, but it's his love, voice was, used to be so little and yeah. loud. You know he got a, yeah, he got a little. He got that's why I can be rap like yeah, that. The he, nigga got a sound. You know, every nigga from G's, all them niggas sound. Any of them niggas, you hear the little sound where it's offset from everybody. That's right. what a nigga win at. I'm checking them out. It's not only them. It's it's certain what even Devin the dude. You go back to the older. The, yeah, nah, that, sure. the, this this mystic, that, that squeak. It's a, it's a squeak. It's a yeah. different sound, ain't it? So yeah. so what what when you heard you said nigga oh, squeaking nigga what you tell that nah, nigga? Nah, it was was <laughs> he used to always wear the glass. Oh. Wow. Oh, okay. He, he, before we had, before we could afford the real Cartier yeah, 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 glasses, yeah. we were rocking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he thought he had it going yeah, on. Yeah, he he had to. We had he had the fake ones on. You know, okay, it so, is what it is. So you, you know? punched the nigga. I, yeah, I, I hit him with a good one, but one prepared for, for him to, to be back. so loud and funny. <laughs> so it fucked the whole class up because they was like, "Damn, nigga came back." He getting on his head like he was roasting me. Okay. So ever since then, that's been my boy. I was like, "What well, hell?" Yeah, I that's, ain't finna that's battle dope. with you every day. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, but do y'all? You still give him a run for his money oh, yeah, every yeah, now and then? Yeah, we, we hot side every day. Every day, every day. That's we, what he'll call me about. just a hot side. Like, that's dope. <laughs> that's dope. Well, I, yeah, the thing. Yeah, he say he's gonna tune into the channel. I know if I bring enough of you niggas over here, he gonna yeah. watch nigga. Yeah. Your whole damn family over <laughs> here. Nigga. Now what, nigga? No, you know sure. <laughs> and Erica Banks on the way, nigga. Let's no, go. No so, choice. Gotta so, put it in your face. Yeah, I think I think that's where we win at, man. Is that we uh we we show love to the city, man. You know, I, I tell y'all with all the violence, everything going, right. somebody had to step up in the place and say, let's bridge the gap. You no, know what sure. I'm saying? Sure. Let's build some bridges instead of some walls. And why not it be E? Right, you know what I'm right, saying? The nigga, right, the nigga, right. the, the old nigga come through. You what know show? what I'm saying? Like with the, wi with yeah, the, with yeah. the wisdom. <laughs> but it, it, it the takes that, man. The it got to no, be some sure. love. It got to be some love in for the sure, city, sure. man. So, you know, that's the whole game with me. I think that's why God put me in here. You know what I'm saying? Me and my wife and nah, my family. You know what that. I'm saying? Nah, that's a beautiful and, and thing. And how you though. feeling on the show? Yeah, yeah let's man, talk that, about it. Yeah, that's a beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? The whole family set up. Y'all oh, doing man. it as a team. I yeah, love it. Yeah, I seen you and the baby girl on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, that's my baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah I see. Know. I said, okay, now is she going to be on the podcast? Put on the, put yeah, a, I got put to, somewhere. man. She, I got to once she get more comfortable with, with not with me being able to just do other things. Because yeah. when I'm with her, she requires all your attention. Yeah, she don't want nothing but all my attention. That's dope. Do you want more? Oh, um, that nigga scared of baby mama. He don't want no drama. Yeah, that. Yeah, because I don't want. Because me and her ain't together right now. I don't See? want her to be like, you want another what? Yeah, yeah. yeah you gotta go back and talk to her. Yeah. Just keep it real, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I want to sure. try to keep this thing together. At some point, I might bump my head enough yeah. to get myself yeah. together. And nah, I think that's why our women sometimes they give up on us too easy. They'll leave. They ain't got time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm done with this. That nigga is suck. And they and they grandmama tell them the same thing. Leave that nigga, girl. You ain't worth a damn. Yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? It'd be like and, that. And, and we gotta do better, man. Men gotta do better. We gotta step up to the plate when it comes down to, you know, taking control of the situation and saying, nah, Hey, sure. no, nah, you gonna be here. And uh, you know, I think they'll listen to us. I always say, you know, if a woman, you know, you gotta realize, man, she'll help me. So at the yeah, end of the day, for sure. it usually yeah. my cousin told me that he say, Man, I left my wife, he say, but, you know, he married somebody else. But at the time, he said, I could have made it work, man, but I chose to move on. See, what it be you is know? we be too stubborn to actually Egos, huh? put that 
take that extra step to be like, well, let's sit down and talk about it. Men be so, they be so ready to be like, well, shit, fuck it. Should yeah. I have a trip? <laughs> That's it. I find me another chick. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? When sometimes. It's deeper than of, that, ain't yeah, it? Yeah, it could be way better. It could, a lot of situations could be avoided with just a little conversation. conversation. That's so real. You know so, what I'm saying? But the reason why I asked you, one of the reason why I asked you if you wanted more was the main fact that since you give her all the attention, you know, little girls be like, I don't want no other brother. Yeah, see, yeah, yeah she's not ready for that right yeah, now. Yeah, it'll probably be when she like four. Yeah, because she feel like she gonna have to share you, and she yeah, don't want to share. Yeah, because she don't even you. like my nieces. Like I, I got, I got six nieces and nephews, three boys and three girls. Mm -hmm. The last two are twins, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they was born two weeks apart. So my little girl was born, and then two weeks later, the twins was born. So they right there by each other. Whenever she has all the playmates. Oh yeah, whenever, and she got six. Nieces, I mean, six cousins on her mama's side, too. Oh, wow. wow. So she That's was big, born big. into a big family. Yeah. Right. So she ain't really got to worry about nothing. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Let's get let's get to the label, the GRC thing. Well, I, I see you. I see I you see with that the GRC. Under the get rich cartel. Yeah, yeah. What's up with that? Talk to me. Yeah, and I'm gonna man. tell you something. I, I think I, I tapped into a little bit of something about some apparel. Nigga ain't brought us no shirt or nothing. Yeah, get rich no, clothes. No, I don't want to hear that, bro. No, wait a minute. Uh, no, nah, bro. You come that's over here. Empty that's my fault. Let me tell you something, man. Shout out to P. What his name? Uh, putting God first. PGF, man. He brought us shirts. He came away from Atlanta. That nigga made me, he pimped me hey, last week. You, you got uh, me feeling yeah, bad, man. You, got me, you know he what? I should have made sure. <laughs> like, you, like you came prepared, I should have been more prepared. You're right about time, that. Next time you. come through. I no, but you, anywhere you. you go, listen to me. Y'all too dope to not do it, bro. Right, right. Y'all should be moving different. I'm being real. I'll no, be watching, sure. man. Like, like when you come to something like this, y'all need to be making the moments. Cat, make it. Because the... Visuals are so important. So important now, for real. And it don't take much. Y'all niggas got money too. Y'all niggas a trip, man. Y'all niggas got trunk. money, man. Yeah, nah, so you know, trunk. you got to get your camera guy bringing. We're a team, so okay. everybody got their a, own parts. Okay. Know? Like shout out my my brother. You know what I'm saying? Fat Porter is okay. over the closing part of okay. the GRC. He actually had some like business stuff that he had to take care of the world. He couldn't come. Like he normally be here, and he would have had it ready. Okay. For you see, that's that's the thing about us. We're a team. Like everybody got their part. Like right now, I'm just the front, the front face of it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But no, I as I it. progress, you know what I'm saying. Everything will come out more. We actually have more rappers. We got the closing label. Yeah, pretty and paid for the women. Yeah, that's dope. Um, that's dope name. Yeah. So we, like I said, it's a lot of positive stuff we do throughout all the negative. The negative look that they put out nah, of us. I, well, at the yeah, end of the day, we, sure. we, we fading that right yeah, now. Nah, We're sure. going to show love. We fading that. That's the whole game about us. We're going to fade everything and make it to where nah, sure. it, it is what it is. You see how we are. Nah, for you sure, know for what sure. I'm saying? And, and, sure, and, sure. and so the clothes next time when you come, or if you ever need some help, we've been here 15 years. We know yeah, about clothes. Yeah, I was clothes. checking, yeah. yeah you, I've been yeah, doing yeah. this. It so. looks nice, too. And then you see the work. Yeah. That's the yeah. work, man. So anytime, if you have any questions or anything, any leads, anything you need, you say, hey, E, man, what do you think about? this or what we need to do or how I need to develop this brand right. or how can I get it in the different states because nah, sure. right now I got so many partners in different states with stores and I talked to them for years been right. had this relationship for right. over 15 years 16 17 years I can call to New York and say hey cloud uh, help me out with this in Rhode right. Island. I can call the Purple Carpet in Miami, or I can call yeah, the Jazz yeah, yeah. in Atlanta, in Atlanta for sure. and, and get these clothes and the and get these shirts out here. Yeah, that's the good thing about it. We all help each other. Correct. You know what I'm saying? We, Correct. When everybody got the same goal for yeah. us, just bring, making a D look better, you know what I'm saying? That, yeah. that's, a, that's a blessing. Shout so out to I, Carl Kanai. I, I appreciate your phone that. up and call him right now. No, y'all sure, yeah. make me cap on you, nigga. No, you you niggas sure. rap, nigga. I yeah. do clothes. Ain't no <laughs> hey, it's money. It's money. I swear I seen a person get rich off of selling fruit. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. So you can we get had a million dollar anyway. deal off yeah. of selling fruit. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. She was. She was like, I made a million dollars this year, and I'm about. I'm gonna tell you something. I give you some game on some. We we opened up long. We done had seven stores, man. Right. And um, the thing you got to realize is people watch your movement. Right. People, people uh, watch how you move. You no, know. So the sure. lady used to go to the beauty salon. A, a white lady, mm -hmm. and uh, she seen me. And, and, and shout out to this when I was helping Puka and them, Puka Leroy and them, uh, with his little studio over there. I was trying to help. Right. I, I helped, bro. Right. So, so sure. at the end of the day, it was like uh, we was rocking out with them. But she seen me at the Walmart, and she was like, E, how's Stephanie? That's my wife's name. Right. I was like, she's doing good. Y'all still got the store? I said, yeah, we've been over there for 15 years. Well, at that time, probably about 13 years. Mm -hmm. No, hell, about, about, about 11 years. So it was like, okay. She was like, well, we going out of town, uh, me and my husband, for six months. 
And I can show you where we made a million dollars cash if y'all could want to take over our business until we come back. That I'm just showing you how business is. When you do good business, yeah. people want to do business with, with you. you. No, they see real. your longevity. For real, so for they real. be like, they respect it. You know what I mean? So if you don't lie to people, if you straight up about what you say, strong right. about what your word is, you could change the world, brother. Yeah, I done had sure. people to call me with million dollar deals about buying buildings because they knew I was interested mm -hmm. in real estate. I just didn't want to go into partnership right, with right, right. Because I kept my word for many, many years. No, for sure. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, it's it's like solid say, as hell. Sometimes you got to be able to be true with yourself. Yeah. Like, stand on what you believe, like, for us, no matter what it is. You know what I'm saying? That's why like, I try to tell the little young cats yeah. that come around the shop, like, when you don't never supposed to just look at your situation yeah, or how you raised up or what you got on your plate right now, mm -hmm. is you don't look at that as your future or yeah. what you got to look forward to in life. Like, you can change your situation by being... For one, attentive, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. On time. Like we we training the young cats that be around. No, no, there. I like that. And you we know, we teach them to pick up guns. We teach them to finish school and get some money. No, that's, that's good. Because they need that positivity and especially they they already look up to you. Right. They're right. gonna take that and implement it in their life. No, for real. If just any and anybody try to tell them that, like their dad or anybody, a lot of times they don't ever listen. Yeah. So uh, but when you're talking about your clothing line. Uh, where can they find that if someone wanted to? Uh, it's uh, get rich closing on on IG, and um, it, it's 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 called Pretty and Paid. Okay, that's also on, on IG. IG. So there's a yeah. website that they can find find. No, it on. just IG because you can sell on it's, IG okay. and everything. If yeah, you, you really set it up right, you can do it yeah, all. On yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do it all on IG. Um, we we he actually getting ready to open. We working towards a store. Uh, to get rich. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, <laughs> it's, it's a whole storyline to That's the dope. get rich thing. It's it's just like like Noah's Ark. You know, yeah. like um, you know how it was two of everything on the boat, right? And basically how he 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 doing a book too for the kids. He gonna do a get rich book because. Get, like, I, want, I want to meet him. Oh yeah, you got to meet him, man. Like I said, Fat Party is very intelligent. No, guy. no, I want to talk to. Like him. I said, we a whole team. We got no, no. A and lot and of it's it's all the information about getting rich for the kids. Is that what it is? Because like we like to listen to. We had our kids listen to Rich Dad Poor Dad. Rich Dad Poor Dad. Right? Uh, uh, Secret to, Minds of a Millionaire. Right. So you have right. to train your kids of how to manage money and how to think. Early about on, it. yeah, because like Early. you say, everything is a mindset first. You know? Right. That's right. And anything in life, like before they was millionaires. They thought about being a millionaire. That's right. They put it in their mind that they wanted to That's do That's right. And work ethic is everything. That's exactly I don't right. have the best work ethic. You as, don't? You know, Let's get I, into that. No, I'm just kidding. No, for sure. We can <laughs> get into that. Amazing. Why do you think you don't have... Why do you procrastinate? I mean, because... What Jose is Jose Bodego, you procrastinate too no, damn much. No, no, we don't know if it's that. Nah, it, it ain't that I... All right, let's it talk about it. That's what I'm trying to put it out there. I got to make the decisions for everybody. You know? Okay. So, like, what I do is... Yeah, what I do is important for all of us, like because yeah. they all looking for me to get us over the hump, which we all a team, but I'm the rapper. So I'm the one that's the main scene. Like I'm the one that's on the main scene. Right. So a lot of what I do, like I, those are my biggest critics. And I say I procrastinate because I still have, you know, everyday life, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I don't always put everything, but I put a lot now, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But it's always, I'm one of those people that I always can feel like I could be doing better than what I'm doing. Yeah, and I, I take I take the blame for my own. But stuff. but but you 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 got to be a good delegator, and that's what you express. And we've had a lot of different people over the years right. work for right. us, and we've changed teams, changed right. strategies. Right, that's a part of the hustle. For sure, for sure. I make sure yeah. you don't have that's yes a part of hustle. And you have to have, a, and they ain't far you, from that. And yeah. you have to have yeah. you have to have a a, a a strong. You have to be, be strong uh, a wield, and you you can't. You got to be willing to let people walk in and out of your life. Right, right, right. Without right. even caring. Right. It's business at the right. end of the day. So a lot of people that don't fit the script got to be pushed out of the script. Yeah, because I was it can slow the that. whole team down. If, yeah, if you're it's right not about balanced that. You're right about that. You're right about that. That's why I say we all got a part. Yeah. So won't nobody feel overworked. You know what I'm saying? We all got a part that we do. Like, like I said, that, those are my biggest critics because I respect their opinions and they're going to they gonna tell me it, whether it's, it hurt or not, they're going to tell me that this is what needs to be heard. That's like, good. Constructive and, criticism yeah. is always great. Yeah, you got to be able to take constructive criticism. And I pride myself on being an open ear. Like, I, my granny always told me a long time that you ain't never too old to learn something new. Man, that's dope. So, I want to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Like, um, uh, the... The, the, the music, because I listen to your music. Right. Some of, some of it's... 
When is I'm a, the, the kids? What, we hear the, the, the same thing. I, even I tell Charleston, mm -hmm. we hear the, the 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 stuff about the tool and all that. But where's that song at that's gonna help that kid? Right. Well, is it coming? Is it yeah, ever yeah. gonna come? Oh no! See, I got <laughs> you, a lot you of hard. Like that's you too saying. damn hard. I got. <laughs> I, I, like I said, so I've been we got to do something. Yeah, I, I I was basically trying to work on getting there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like I said, I got a lot of different styles. That's why I call myself Bodega. That pain when it's time for that pain, they gonna yeah. fall in love with it. Cause I'm gonna let them know that when when you come from pain. It's just like 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 a, a, a what's they call the sunshine flower yeah. growing out of the concrete. Yeah, like you can come from some of the roughest places and still spread out to be something very beautiful. Beautiful. It, it just take a little time. So so the reason I asked you that question was because I know that you're an artist, so you right. know you can do it both ways. Right, right. You can right, still right. maintain that that same you right. know era to where I say nigga don't come over here with trying to flex, right. but. I got kids and your daughter and right, stuff like right, that so right, that you can right. teach somebody else how to come out of their situation. Right. You've seen a lot of things. We just talked about growing up house to house and all that other stuff. So you have a story that's deeper than just the something. That's a, yeah. There you go. Now a lot you get of that, me, right? Yeah, a lot of that going to be expressed in a defamation of character. I, I look for that because you that's said good. on that's another good. interview that yeah. it came out. You you push that back. Yeah, I pushed it back yeah. because uh, I, I basically want to give give this app Mr. Bodega it's out on our platforms mm -hmm. I basically want to get at a little bit more time to catch people's ear because like I say uh, a lot of people feel like that that was a hell of a project Yeah, and like I tell them that's just only the beginning like, that's right like I said my work ethic is what's gonna push me it ain't always the best but it's gonna push me over Yeah, in just a minute because like I say I, I come from nothing so and one thing about growing up in the streets like when you really from the streets, you realize that like you don't want to be here forever. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. And when I had my daughter, it kind of opened my eyes to a lot of things that where happens. I need to switch yeah. my mm -hmm. switch my goals, like yeah. switch what's important That's to me. Good. And like 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 having a hundred thousand in jewelry ain't nothing compared to having a hundred thousand in your little girl name. That's right. Before she even graduated out of high school, that's dope. like that's what I'm pushing towards. And like, educating her how to yeah, manage it. How to manage it? Yeah, and having a family house like like my granny. She stay with my mom right now. Like I'm planning on buying a family house. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Before I buy my own house, I'm gonna buy a family, family house. That's how it's supposed with to With our be. last name on it. That's it. So mm -hmm. we can have some forever. You know what I'm That's saying? That's dope, man. But I'm happy that you're coming out with this project because when you talk about um, helping the youth that are around you, teaching right. them, people don't understand. Well, I didn't realize how powerful this mic is, how powerful music is. I know that young kids listen to them. And we always say they listen to them in a negative way. Right. You know what I mean? So I can't understand when people do positive music, why they don't take that and run with it and help change their life. Why is it always the negative that they take and See, run what with it is, and not is, the positive? It's the people. It's the person. Like, it's the, it's the actual person that they look at for that. You know what I mean? Like, when you look at... Like like NBA Young Boy, like shout out to NBA Young Boy. No, you know, not down talking or nothing, but they they look up to him. They they want to be like him. They see that. So if he was to rap about that type of stuff, They'd it'll listen. make them do that. They'll listen. It's all about the get in the ear. That's why I'm working so hard to get that platform. You know what I'm saying? Well, to where I can that, show them that. 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 That's why I like like Pac. You like like Tupac. He could be that hardcore and he could talk right, that talk, right. but he also could flip and make to where people could mm -hmm. come out of a right. situation. That's why his music was resonated so well with my, you know, the people coming up in my time. Right. You know and for I mean? generations to come, because, because everybody said dope. that he was way ahead of ahead his, his time. time right. Yeah. Because now we're still dealing with the same situations that he was talking about back yeah. then. Yeah. So. We, I got a question for you. Would you ever sign to anybody else outside of PMG? Yeah, nigga. Yeah, you like, uh, maybe, maybe, yeah, yeah. Billion dollars coming in. Billion dollars coming in. That's, that's the yeah, thing yeah, about yeah, doing yeah. business with family. Like, <laughs> yeah, he'll understand, like, it'll still be, we all still be together. Oh, y'all gonna get that bill. Y'all yeah. gonna split that. We'll, we'll be together, but if, if they come with a, that type of deal, he the type to be like, boy, you better go get that money. <laughs> like like they said on Friday. Yeah. You better go get, get that, that money. money. <laughs> Dude, that's, uh, that's the type of relationship we got. Like yeah. nobody wanna hold nobody back. You yeah, definitely, man. man. Like I guess, at the end of the day, he 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 it's my all love. Yeah, it's all love. Him and my other cousin, like that that's my baby guy parents. Yeah. So of course, like he know what I'm doing it for. Yeah. Like most people do this shit to be famous and 
Yeah. Being able to walk around, everybody yeah. know them. I, like I always tell anybody, one thing about me, I hustle for my last name, not, not my, first my first name. name. You know I like saying? that. Yeah. And I represent for the have nots. You know what I'm saying? I, the people that don't got nothing. I, I, I yeah. want to hear it. What, so that I, name, I, but I, hold on, the name Jose Bodega. Um, Bodega. Bodega. Where did that come from? And how old were you when that name was created? Uh, I created that like around, I was probably like 17, 18. Like I said, that was my, like when I was doing the comedy, that was my, that was gonna be my. So that com was your comment. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I. Where did it I come try to from? Because I've heard Bodega before. Bodega is so you know, like that's like a like a like a like a, a swap meet. Like you can get anything that you need out of a Bodega. Oh, so okay. So I, I use that for as pertaining to Jose? my rap style, Black Mexican. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I I, I like it. Do you speak um, Spanish? Man, if I have to, bit, you know, I, so you you can. I prep myself before I get there to where I can be able to. One thing about me, like I said, I like to educate myself to different things. So, I want to be able to sit around anybody and be able to have a intelligent conversation and not look like ah, oh, that's just a boy from the hood that don't know yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah. Because with a name like that, you better speak it. Let me ask you this fluently, uh, big homie. Uh, yes, sir. With, with the shit, how, how did you uh, how did you end up linking with him to do that song? Oh, uh, he actually was somebody there. Like was a big fan okay. of what I did. Like my, he said he loved the way that I rap, mm -hmm. and um, he was like he wanted to do a feature with me. And like I told him, I was like, shit, it was my first time doing a feature with somebody, so I'm gonna give you that heat. Yeah, I you like know what I'm saying. Yeah, I yeah. respect that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I gave him. You know what I'm saying we collabed on that, and it's really a good record. No, no, it definitely it's is. It's a good record. Like I say, like I told him, just stay down. Yeah. Everything is gonna it's gonna pick up in a minute. Who, who produced that beat? It was a nice sound. Um, that was actually one of his producers. One of his producers. Yeah, I just he from the, the city. Hook. Yeah, he from okay. he from Holland Hills too. Okay, dope. dope. Yeah, I had laid the hook. I had uh, laid the verse on there for him. Like I said, we 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 collabed. It was a good song. It's a hell of a project. It's yeah, a yeah, hell yeah, of a yeah, yeah. No, I like I like the way I like the way it went down. I I just be lit. I didn't know where he was from. I hadn't. Yeah, I tapped into Holland him because yeah. I tapped into you. Yeah. You know, um, uh, the the statement. We you. I think you spoke a little bit on it, but what was the process for that? Oh. Uh, Basically, I want to come out How do you process it, man? Do you write or do you nah, punch, punch in? And then you, I punch. You punch in. I yeah, punch. I knew it. Yeah, yeah. You was a punch in, dude. Yeah, I let the beat take me wherever. Yeah, and then you uh, just start. To, yeah, hold that. Punch, not, not bring that back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because cause what it was with me, like, I was in a point to where I, like, because, like I said, I didn't want nothing to be, I didn't want nothing to be given to me. So, okay. like, he when Yellow knew I could rap back in the day because, like I said, way back in high school, we used to rap in my cousin's be, garage. Be honest though, be honest. Did you spank that nigga on the song before? Hey man, you know we. I mean, go on back tell the truth. Day, no, no, I'm just saying. See, now. Yeah, I'm finna give it to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. That's one thing about me. Back in the day, when 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 before Yellow came, yeah, I was the best rapper out of the group. Okay, like out of our group because I could freestyle like, and I, I always rap for people like. Rap when they come to the garage, like I rap. Like anybody that came to the garage, I'm a rap for them. Like my cousin, like I, we got other people, like my my kin folk. His name Boo Man. He freestyle. Like that's where we come from, freestyling in the garage. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All type of w w crazy rap styles. You know what I mean? So yeah. punching it ain't nothing but me just remembering a lot of no, different shit that I used to already say same, when I was young. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what it was was Yellow was the he could make a song. That nigga fly with it. Like even no, way no, back no, then, no. he, he yeah. been like that he every can make time. A song. That nigga, that, that's the part I liked about it, man. That nigga, he, he gonna he make a catchy hook yeah. out yeah. of this world, and I couldn't do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I could rap. You could rap on it, but you couldn't get I that couldn't song make going. A hook for yeah. nothing. So. Yeah, he, he knew that, didn't he? Yeah, he knew it. So I just took the back row, and I played sports. Yeah, so yeah. So I, you were really you I get him over there with that flyness. So you could who? No, I play football. Oh, football you play football. And baseball. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. so crazy. With all of the people that's been coming in, um, especially musicians, I'm learning so much about the music and realize because when I hear somebody writing, I'm thinking you're writing from start to end, including the hook. Right. I I didn't realize that you have somebody who is a hook man. You know what I mean? Yeah. No shame. Shout out to No right. Shame that was on here the other day. Stuff yeah, it's like that. That, yeah, it's people they that. Yes, people that see what I do is I I go off my emotions, like how I'm feeling throughout the day. Like sometimes I be feeling like a million dollar nigga and I go in the studio and talk about it. You know what I'm saying? I put it to where everybody can understand in my way of how I feel. Mm -hmm. Or some days I be feeling down. So I go in there and I, I let you know like that to weather the storm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like yeah. like I say, I try to be, I try to give them more than one style so I won't be put in a box. Let me tell you something while I got it on my mind, man. When you go out of here and you go rap with a nigga from out of state, 
Don't let us down, nigga. I'm watching. Oh, all yeah. look, 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 I'm telling wait. you, man. Listen, bro. I can't wait. Don't let us down. I'm watching everything, man. You go and get you on the represent. track with somebody. Oh, I gotta and, and if they if, if they eat you up, I'm gonna call you and say, man, what the hell was you thinking? I'm but too you, big. You, you, I'm, t- I'm a big nigga. <laughs> I can't, I, you can't finish this plate. You gonna kill a big it, plate of food. You gonna kill it, hey, man. Because you gotta feel that way. It's a competition, yeah. man. Yeah. See. And and I, and it's our artistry, you know. It's how it makes for a good song. I'm gonna tell you something, Yellow. I wasn't I, every time he went up, like when he did the song with Chris Brown. I'm watching that nigga. I'm watching everything. Oh, I'm yeah, watching every yeah, time. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, nigga, okay. Yeah. He thinking he just watching the Earl Spence fight, nigga. I'm watching you, nigga. <laughs> so, yeah, nigga, you going up here? You represent us. So what, how how you do with it, with uh, with this one? And how you do with that one? You know, that's the way it be, man. But he ain't let me down. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. That's the whole game. So you you look forward to going into that that competitive oh, yeah, market. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm that's ready. what I call it. The competitive. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> See, because I look at it like this. I, I look up the Biggie Smiles. That's one. Of my I knew that. Rappers. I knew that. We about to get into the, yeah, the top yeah. three all time. We might well go on into Go it now. ahead. Top three artists of all time, dead or alive. Any genre. Any genre. Dead or alive. Male yeah. or female. Male or female. Well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Biggie Smalls. Okay. Gotta go Biggie. All the big niggas wanna pick Biggie. Biggie. I'm gonna get into that. Keep yeah. going. Biggie Do Smalls. Else. Number two. And then um, I I I gotta go Jay Z. There you go again. I thought his number These two niggas, was uh-uh, gonna be Tupac because uh-uh, uh-uh, he can't uh-uh. say Biggie and not no, say Tupac. No, let me see where he's going. I'm gonna be very uh, listening, very good. He's not gonna say it. Who is your third? He's not one? gonna say. No, it. I don't care. I'm wanting to say that. I'm just listening. My third one. It's gonna trip y'all out. Who is it? Eminem. Oh, this nigga. I can't deal with Bodega. Jose Bodega can't come back to Boss Talk, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, it wasn't about the UGK thing. It was more about being in the South and being from the South. And, but the younger, you younger. And I got to get that part. That's a part that I'm learning. See, I, I like, like I said, far as like, I, when I say the greatest of all time, because they did it bigger than big. Okay, and you look like, at how big, how, yeah. how many people they touched. Now, as far as like, down south, oh, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to go there. Don't come here. I got to take it there. I don't want I that. You to. can't even no. do that now. Let, you just, you no. pick your three and that's but it. But that's my three, though. That's right. my that's three. Because okay, so. I like lyrical rappers, though. And, no, and I, I, I like, I'm like. i going to tell you, the big, best one out of that for me is Biggie. I'm going to be honest, because Mike Jones, he he, he educated he me on that. Down. He You got to go back yeah. and watch that set. Yeah. Because yeah, he, I gotta check you got to go ch- tap into that, because Mike Jones told about Biggie. He, he was really arguing with me. Now tell me who, because <laughs> he talking about how he was big and he still was able to appeal to the masses. Yeah, because like that. people don't understand. Like when you that big, like I, I look at him as a hell of a musician for us with the music because he was a heavy set guy and he was able to perform night in and night out. Yeah, and like people know that actually perform. Like when you're performing, it takes a lot out of Energy. your body mm-hmm. to perform, and it and. I've been winded a lot of nights on stage, <laughs> and I wouldn't even have his size, so mm-hmm. I commend him being able to put it down like that. Like that, you got to love it. But then when that women one. look at him, he made Big sexy again. And that's what I do. Him, uh, that's wait, what wait, I wait, 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 wait. <laughs> did, did Low Diesel be getting the right size shoes for you? You know, bringing them? See, one thing where I, <laughs> You remember with that? Yeah, yeah, that 14, yeah, 14, yeah. All I had to do 14. Yeah, see, that's... And that, that, like I said, he was he was a good he was a good person to look up to. Right. Right. And he, he seemed like he would be very cool short to be around, time. right? Yeah, yeah. And then, of course, he's part Jamaican, too. Yeah, I heard that. And Who everybody... Yeah, the stylist. Everybody <laughs> argued with me about that because I take Biggie Smalls over two. Yo, do the shoes, and, see, eh? and the funny thing, because I'm from Jamaica, but I take Tupac <laughs> over Biggie. Right, right. But don't get me wrong. Like I said, it's just in, in artistry, you know, music like Pac could make, he told the best stories. This. Yeah. Yeah. Like he. I know, just told you about that. I love for Pac. Don't get me wrong. I love that man. He, like I said, they paid away for music. And it, it was just a sad thing that they was took away from the music so yeah, early, early on 25 they, they had so, so much, much mm-hmm. influence to offer that was so inf- so much I think he had a style that they, to him that yeah. was different from Tupac Tupac tend to want to be gangsta and everything like that but Biggie didn't have to come up to me didn't come across gangsta no, no, he no. was he had, more, he had a, he he had was a smooth a, he was just he, like this yeah like fly rap that's fly what rap. I like to call yes, it yes, both yes, did exactly. that. they both had yeah. their moments with yeah, that yeah but see this the thing Tupac like, didn't come across to me like that at all he was see, more like with Biggie like you said when you come from the hood mm-hmm. and you was stuck there and like I said when I say stuck there like we didn't have no option like that was what we had to do until we to the Lord like my right. granny I always say 
And so the Lord blessed us. You know what mm. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Still to this day. She, she, How old is your granny? She finna be 80. Man, wow. and I love the way you smile when Granny say yeah, Granny. Yeah, when he say Granny, that yeah, smile. That's a whole different level. Yeah, that's my baby. Make man. sure she watches this. Oh, okay. yeah. What's sure. her name? Irma Jean. Shout out to Irma Jean, man. Your boy E C E O and Mr. Ma the official Mr. Yeah, Maker. You can we know she a grandma out. because that those names, people not naming their kids those names. <laughs> yeah, no Irma Jean. That's my baby. <laughs> she don't play. Uh, yeah, she don't play. Still to this day. Yeah, so that's good. Whenever you see her, got her glasses on her nose, she looking oh, up she at you. She not even looking in her glasses. Jose she just, Oh yeah, man! We like gotta, I say, we gotta get, we gotta, you know, the thing. I look at you, man, and when I look at you, I expect a lot from you. Right. You know, far as with the people around you, you're a leader, man. Right. Right. And, right. And you know, you talked about the stigma. We're not gonna get into the stigma that much, or or, or the way people allegedly the character. And right. All that, right. But you, the, you the gotta fix it. Right, right. You understand right, what I'm saying right. with the youngsters around you, right? Now building bridges and, and like I talked about earlier, right. not walls. Educating the ones around you about God, you right. you, you express God a higher a higher power. So yeah, because you know, like you I got say, somebody got to do it. Yeah, somebody got to do it. Like somebody got to let the kids know that it's more to life, and they they get caught in that that box where they feel like okay. This is how the this is how you get the big jewelry and the good cars yeah. and the pretty women. That's all they see because that's what they see. They don't see this lawyer over here mm -mm. With, with 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 six figures in the bank account, and he came from that same place because he don't it ain't the lawyer don't got no way to tell his story. That's right. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell a story for the have not. So you gonna put it in the music? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's gonna be dope. Yeah, man. I'm gonna be holding you to it. I'm gonna call oh, yeah. and be like, hey, hey, Low D's, where the hell is where the hell is Jose, Jose Bodego with this music? You gonna oh, be yeah, like, man, <laughs> like I said, I love the have nots. You yeah. don't see me talk about that all the time. Like, yeah. Like somebody gotta gotta let them know that we we know y'all out here too. Like yeah. we all out here together. That's dope. When you can't forget the people that that, that have less, because I have less. You That's know what right. I'm saying? Well, I, you you, know, you know what it is to have and less. Yeah. So That's why we have this platform, and um, I've always said this on almost every every episode. Right. That that's why we go back into your backstory yeah. and we try to hear these stories because someone who is watching, who is going through the same thing that you went through, right, and see where you are that. right now, right. know right. that there is a choice because I've met so many people who said, I felt like I had no choice that's but right. to do this. Yeah, you know what I mean. But I love, I commend, I can't wait for those songs, songs to come out. That's yeah. why I say my you granny used to grow, always right? say the sinner's prayer. That's dope. Like, I, like I said, I don't knock nobody for what they had to do in life. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Everybody come from different walks of life to where they had to do different things to be successful. And I also feel like that, yeah, God know, God see the robbers. You know what I'm saying? God see the ones that's out there doing this stuff that they really don't want to do, but mm -hmm. they doing it for a purpose. Like, it be a lot of people out there that, that really don't have no other choice. You know what I'm saying? And they, they got the choice, but they not educated to know the choice. Okay, let me ask you an opinion on this. Um, this is just a situation. I'm not going to call no names or anything like right. that. But um, when you see a person, because I've met a person who was making the six figures right. a year. I mean, great job, everything right. like that but end up leaving that to go to the street life. Yeah. You understand what I mean? Because he wanted the, to be wanted, around those yeah, this is real, that's women, a real um, mainly strippers and all of that. He wanted that type of life. See, yeah. because that, 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 that lifestyle appeals more to people. Like, it, basically, when I, when I, but mean, he when ended I up say getting that killed is, from that yeah. life, too. Yeah, yeah, because like you say, like, just because people want to travel their road, that road is dangerous. It's, it's just like like have, like like the like the army men when they when they on on on, on camp field, when they going through live field, where they walking through gunshots and stuff like that. It's just like that in life. You yeah, know what is, it, just like is that. it the adre the adrenaline or something like that? Because I can't no, understand I've been there. I that can tell life. You, you making me. really really good money, and I, you come over here and because like you say, they see the they see again. Going off what they see, they see the rappers with the strippers, and they see the the, the big money guys with the strippers. Yeah. And a lot of a lot of a lot of people think once they get money, it's the answer. But money's not necessarily the answer. Hey, man. No. It, it money is just not. the the criteria. Like that's just something you gotta have in life. You know what I'm saying? You gotta. That's a part of the things that's that you true. gotta be able to take care of your business with. And they feel like once they get the money, now they can be. And I don't understand why people want to be somebody from the streets because it ain't as all as it cracked up to be. It's, it's a lot of, it look good on when you rap about it, 
but it's, it's far from but good when you live But a lot of people think it. that when you have money, you gain respect as well. And it don't always come like that because even like being a black person um, yeah, and we, you get money, you still have to deal with racism. Yeah, you cause just because just cause you got $100,000 or just because you got a million dollars or 10000 50000 whatever you want to call it, that don't change the color of your skin. Exactly. Yeah, that don't change. I, hey, Robert Smith got $8 billion. He's the richest black American and I, man, and he's still... Still, have to deal time. with it. Right. Still, you wouldn't know him if he walked in today because he ain't in the sports. Right, and that, that was the richest that come black away from American right, and that come away from like our ancestors. Like the color of your skin ain't gonna change. Ain't gonna change. So you still gonna have to deal with the adversity of being um, a black man or 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 an ethnic. You know what I'm but saying? But a lot of people still feel that way. That these kids feel like, oh, if I have it, I'll be okay. Yeah. Yeah, they, they gonna feel like that because that's what we make them feel like. Mm -hmm. That's what they see. Like, they think having pretty good cars and nice houses is life. They don't know that having good health is life. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. My granny, like I said, my granny, a lot of my friends and brothers around me, they, they keep me level-headed on different things. That's the to, blessing right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, because like I say, I could blow up tomorrow and I still, only difference it'll be I'll be doing more for the people that are less fortunate because my granny I always, because we was the ones at those, uh, at those in those lines on Christmas. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah. waiting, mm -hmm. at, at, waiting yeah, to, get to get a, a four, two yeah. toys a piece. Yeah, like, me, yeah, I've been there. Yeah, we, me, you got a lot of the same yeah, thing going on. That. So, yeah, you, the that, that, that teaches lines. you integrity, man. Yeah, that teaches you how to how to how to respect to set things your pride more aside too. That's right. Mm -hmm. Be thankful for what you do have. You know what I'm yeah. saying. My granny was big on making us thankful for the things that we do have versus the things that we do not. You know Man. what I mean? So let me check this music out. I want to see if I can't find a beat. I'm going to get me about a 16 out of you. I know who your favorite producer because you're a music dude. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Who's your favorite like, damn uh, producer? I like, uh, uh, you know anything it gotta about, be, it gotta you, be, you don't know anything uh, about Rock T? Uh, little, I little think Rock I heard T. Him. You yeah, know, nigga, I mean, I, he, he from the neighborhood, but he, yeah, 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 he made see. a beat. Yellow was on. He y'all don't even know I he from most, the neighborhood. I, mean, I try to fuck with everybody though, but I yeah. fuck with Monster. Monster. Yeah, I seen that. I looked that yeah, up. A lot of. But me. do do Monster? He got some stuff on here. Yeah, I think so. Is it M O N S T A? Send him an email. Y'all know you niggas be rapping. Y'all rap twenty four seven. I was on that boat with Yellow Beezy, man. That nigga did not stop rapping. He loved that yeah, stuff, yeah, man. Yeah, got to, man. That's how you I was like, this nigga really doing this. Like, it was one nigga that made me think about Omarion. Nigga said that nigga was dancing when he met him. He said that nigga kept dancing the whole <laughs> night. I said, he said that nigga really liked this. You <laughs> But I seen Yellow, I was like, damn, that nigga, he just, he ain't gonna stop. Like, you That's know, stop and eat, nigga. You <laughs> But I like it though, cause that tell me you love what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, that you love what you do. Was you on? The, you wasn't on there, was you? Uh -uh. Y'all wasn't even. Why you didn't come? I was actually oh, sick that nigga. day. Y'all niggas uh -huh. act funny. I ain't want to be the one to on make everybody. Okay, everybody. Okay. Yeah. Everybody be, yeah. Okay. yeah. Like, you know, no now, ever since COVID, 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 I asked him. COVID. I say, where he was like, some people didn't wasn't able to come. Yeah, yeah. I was sick, man. I y'all got to meet ECEO and the official Miss Jamaica. We was in the building. Like I said, I was like, how the hell he get on this boat? You're. I was sick. <laughs> nah, we we interview different. We new to the set, man. We 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 love hard. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's about. Though. Yeah, man. It ain't tripping. Yeah, put me on some slow. Did you? Man. Oh, yeah, that might be cool right like there. You can ride with that. Yeah, I got to bring you in, nigga. Don't try to check it, man. Check it, man. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, man. We on Boss Talk 101, man. Check my Jose Bodega in the building. Uh, I hear the talking in the backgrounds for the niggas that hating, but never act out. Holding your tongue, you pillow talking. I've been working my thumbs. You was capping, riding around with them guns. Okay. I was Flintstone. Pick your parts, and I ain't the one you wanna pick on. I get act a little nigga, I get my crap on. Swear to God, I put all of the hard times in my earlobes. Grew up in the trenches, slept with that nine by my window. Yes, sir. I'm a big dog. Now let me be specific. I came from kicking doors, now I got a feature ticket. Yeah, man. Check it, man. That's my boy, hey, man, Jose you know, Bodega, man. So, man. No, hey, no, man. Say, so, so, man. I hey, man. I didn't, have to pay, I didn't have to pay for it either. <laughs> I am at the concert right <laughs> no, now, nigga. No, man. Check it, man. Jose Bodega come in and bless our yeah, game, man. Yeah. Boss Talk 101. It's about to go down. 
Say, man. So, so yeah, man. how you, you feel? Big business, man. How you feel when you be when you putting that music down, man? Like, how how it make you feel? Like, I, you know, I don't rap. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like I said, I, I I rap about like I go from the what's in the heart. You yeah, know what I'm saying? what yeah. I'm feeling. Yeah, what what I'm going through. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Different days, I feel like different things. You know what I mean? So, so I try to give. So okay, just like R and B, I always say we've had some R and B people come on and. Whenever they write a certain song, is because they're in those feelings. They're right. feeling whatever. Right. But when you have to go on stage and you have to perform this and you're not in that space at that time, how different is your performance at that time because you're not the same mind frame? Okay, well, like with me, I like to be more like, um, like you know how some people, they like to be buzzed. Mm -hmm. Like I say so much in my, my bars, like in my verses, so... I actually rap sober, like I perform sober. Wow. Uh, no drinks, uh, really? no weed, nothing. I just, like I said, I go out there you and I lay music. it out. Yeah. You know what That's I'm saying? Cool. Cause like I said, I'm big. So every step, it's like an energy meter on the game. Like it's just <laughs> going down every more I move and jumping around. So I got I like to stay level headed because like I said, I since I've started doing music, I fell in love with the people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I feel, like, I feel like I could be that person you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying, to make them feel good about not having as much as everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this, the, all this jewelry, the nice clothes, that's just a front. Like, that's just a, name. Yeah. When, I, when I say front, I don't mean like a front, like I'm fronting. I mean like, that's just outer appearance. Right, Correct. it's materialistic like, stuff. Some of the ugliest people on the outside have the most beautiful, beautiful things yeah. to say. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. Mm -hmm. I like that. What is Are the... you trying to be a poet, nigga? Hey, man. You yeah, I heard it. Yeah. Poet, man. I got to ask this, man. I'm okay, too go on you, man. Uh, with Yella, what was the process of that? Because I didn't ask. And, and that's the one, that's that's the last one y'all done together, right? Right. So how, how was it? I mean, and did, was it big for you? Or was it was it was it your song? Was it his song? Well, it was my song. Okay. Uh, what it was was him and Freddie was getting ready to put that project okay. out. I seen where you said you had some with Trap Boy, but yeah. I couldn't find him. Yeah, it ain't out shit. I couldn't find him. Oh, yeah, like, I can't find him. What I wanted to do was I wanted to get everybody behind my music. I didn't want to be built off of future features because yeah. of yeah. people that I know. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. Like I know I have it a lot easier than a lot of other artists because the people that I know that in the positions the in the yeah. places in the position that they're in. So me, I don't wanna use that. Okay. I'm gonna show y'all my grind so y'all can fall in love with me. Yeah. You got you, you got it you got it right. I can go to that. Because like I say, I can get features with all the big artists in I the know. D. I know if that. I wanted to. But I don't wanna be that guy. Yeah. I want like I said. I want to represent for the have-nots. Oh, they gonna really? love See, I like me after spirit. this. I like, I like the things that you're saying. You have your head on your shoulder. Yeah, they gonna Definitely. love me after this. So that that song there, though, you you know, when y'all was rapping it, you know, what was the moment? What was the video? Let's talk about the video and let's talk about the process of the song before we get out of okay, it. Okay, the, the process how we how we did it was like I had it was crazy because like I had been working and I had been wanting to show, bro. Like yeah, yeah, yeah I'm getting to, it in. Yeah, I'm getting it in. I'm working so. It, 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 he thought he was finna have me off guard. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, hey man, we finna get ready to drop the project tomorrow, so you need to go on ahead and if you wanna be on there, you gotta put some on there. I was like, I was at the studio last night. I got some. And I didn't even have to go through, I honestly, first song that I played for him, like, that was too long. Okay. And I had just recorded it the night before. Wow. Cause see, what I do is I go to the studio I'm different. I rap early in the morning. That's dope. Like, I wake up at 9 o'clock in the morning, yeah. and then I go to the studio until, like, 1 or 2, and that's when I, that's when my creative juices be flowing. Okay. I could rap at night if I have to, but yeah. if it's my and session. And that's where the majority of people yeah. go is late night. Yeah, if it's my session, I'm early in the morning. That's dope. While everybody else I'm still like asleep. You. Yeah. I'm the same way, yeah. right, baby. While everybody I'm else still it. asleep, that's I, I get I'm ready to be up. I'm ready. Because I want to get it out the way. Yeah. It's a job. You know what I'm saying? I love it, but it's a job. So so what happened on that? On that on, so you, when you. When I played it for him, he, him and everybody that was in the studio was like, boy, that's a hit. Wow. You sure you want to put this on, on on our project? I'm like, I don't care. I got a lot of music. Like, I yeah. am, I'm working. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want it to just be that's something dope. hard. You know, so when I put that out, for when I played it for him, he was like, oh, yeah, I'm feeling How long did it take him to do his verse? It took him about 30 minutes. Yeah, let him know. Quick. I say I'm checking. Yeah, you know, Get yeah. inside that studio yeah. with your nigga yeah. through Jose Bodega. Yellow. I see what's going yeah, he, on. He went yeah. in there and see, I had went so hard on it to him. I knew him. I knew him. He was like, oh, yeah. 
I'm finna kill you on this <laughs> one. <laughs> I said, oh, okay, yeah, you like that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, do yeah, that shit. And when we shot the video, we did you redo shot. your verse or you? Mm -mm. Okay. Oh no. Nah. You know, I'm just saying. One thing about <laughs> one thing about me, man, I stand on these lyrics. Man. Already. I, I like I said, it's just my confidence in my heart. You know what I'm saying? I can rap with anybody. You know, I ain't gonna because cause I'm I'm giving you real. Yeah. Like it ain't fabricated, so it's gonna yeah. come right out. And I just like to say it in a in a in a in a flyer way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So where it won't be so rough. I already look like a caveman. I gotta give him at already. least gotta sound sexy on the beat. So yeah, you know hey, man, stop it, man. Yeah, ain't yeah. Real. I'm already the ugly nigga. I gotta be fly. You gotta on the come beat. on with yeah. it. I ain't nothing wrong with being ugly nigga. I always said I wasn't no handsome nigga. Right, I'm, 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 hey, I'm, hey, I'm, I'm, I, I never claim to be no pretty boy. The worst ones is the ones that say they are handsome nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Believe that. So so how was the video process? Cause I, I see y'all. Video that man that like I said, my manager, he was he he, he did his shit. Like he set up everything. When it, like I said, shout out Low Dizzy, PMG, heavy hitters. Dope, they um set it only up. thing I had to do was just pull up. Pull up and do your part. Do my part. Yeah. That's dope. Let me let me let me uh ask you uh for that young kid out there that uh that that pretty much came up just like you. I right. don't know how don't know really know how he's gonna uh uh figure it out, you know. Uh he's about fifteen. How, how, what what would you say to him to motivate him to to keep going and how would you tell him to strategize? Uh, first I tell him finish school. Okay, you know what I'm saying. You 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 ain't gonna be nothing if you don't know how to count the money. Yeah, you ain't they ain't gonna do nothing but fuck you over. You That's know real. What I'm saying? That's real. You you so and count like money don't always mean physically count yeah. money. You have to look on them books and know that yeah. it's not gonna Cause, be. Cause it's gonna get money, bigger than just the money you count. Yeah. Pay attention. And pay attention to everything. You know what I'm saying. And, if you want to do music, work at it every day. Right. Um, get in that studio, you know what I'm saying? You understand that the quality ain't going to be as best as it can mm -hmm. in the beginning. But work on your craft. Okay. To where when you do get that chance or that opportunity to get in that big studio, it's how you, with the music, it's, I feel like it's 90% business. Okay. 10% talent. Okay. Cause, and I learned that within going through the processes of doing music that it ain't all about what you say or how you say it on the beat. Yeah. You got to be able to be sold. Mm -hmm. And I hate to say it like that, but that's just really <laughs> how it is. Mm -hmm. No, just talk your talk, man. That's so real. So they got to be able to sell you. So even if you, you don't have the jury, you got to have the, the mentality, the, the, the initiative, the heart. Okay. Because... I heard stories like people wouldn't know like it's big artists that you wouldn't even think of got signed with 3,000 followers. Wow. And I heard that story through, you know what I'm saying, being in the business. Yeah, that's dope. So. You, favor ain't fair, I always yeah. say that. But God picks who he want. Right. You know, people, right. people right. Don't, they don't get it. They think it's something they're doing, but God already wrote it out. Yeah. So I think that's the part where, I got exactly, what God has for you, can't nobody get it no way. It's yours. Real. So I like that part of what you said. But you can hinder yourself from and block yourself from your own blessings. By being positioned incorrectly. Yeah. Right? Right. Right. And thank you so much for coming on the show, man. Nah, for sure. It's hey, we all love, love you, bro. It's all love. Listen, for man, sure. you got a new family now. And I'm it. coming on your show. Oh, and when we, you get I it going, wait. and if you need some help starting it, you know I'm your guy. Call oh, me E. Real, real. I need to know how to do this. Or real, I want to do that. And I'm your guy, okay? Um, but um, we good? We good. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, man like I, I say, we y wish you much y love. Wish, wish you much success. <laughs> much love, much success, bro. You know what I'm saying? And and like I say, we oh, here. It's only the beginning. We here. And any, anytime you're going to drop a project, you're like, E, I got to come over there and get something on. Nah, for sure, for sure. You know, we're going to rock out, man. So, hey, we love you, bro. And uh, say, this has been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And we out.